Ethics and holiness are woven together in the Bible. And, and by the way, that's because without holiness, there are no ethics. That's really important to remember. If humans aren't created in the image of God, then there's no wrong way to treat a human. If humans are not created in the image of God, then anything goes. Ethics depend on holiness. And so in this text, we have holiness and ethics woven together. You know, second observation I want to make about this is I've talked about slavery as it relates to the book of Deuteronomy several times. I've pointed out how that in 1 Timothy, the first chapter, beginning at verse 8, Paul says that the practice of slavery as we know it is the equivalent of murdering your mother and your father. That's how evil it is. I can't help but wonder still how it is that white slaveholders in the American South could read a text like that and not be affected. Or how could white slaveholders in the American South read a text like this? If a slave has taken refuge with you, do not hand them over to their master. How could white slaveholders read that verse in church week in and week out and week in and week out and not be phased by it? I've got an answer for you. You know what the answer is? Because they had hard hearts because they had already sold their souls. So here's what happens. This is the warning for us. Whenever you see a verse that disagrees with you, the first thing that's going to happen in your heart is, maybe it doesn't mean what it says. That's what's going to happen. And I guarantee you that's what white slave holders were saying. They had somebody come in with a pipe, probably had a really nice beard, and he stroked his beard and he said, well, obviously the text doesn't mean what it says. Or someone else probably made the argument, well, if we did this, it would destroy our economy. So it can't possibly mean what it says. I just want to make sure you understand. That's why the American South was destroyed. Like that's what God has to do when cultures get so far from what the Bible clearly teaches. But the problem is still with us. Because often we read a scripture and we say, well, obviously it doesn't mean what it says. We blow past it. It's a warning. When you read a scripture and it does not resonate with you, the question to ask is not what's wrong with this scripture. The question to ask is what's wrong with my heart that I don't want to believe it. Hey, I'm John. And I'm Abby, and we are the hosts of Boulevard Online. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up by hitting the uh, subscribe button right down below. To watch the full message that this clip is from, you want to click right here. And if you want to watch some other videos, you can click right down here. <laughs> We'd love to see you again 1020 every Sunday morning. We'll have great worship, uh, fun stories, and a great message. We'd love to see you. Until then, be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing.